Hey everybody, how you doing? It's me, Super Paul Games. Excuse me while I finger Spain, Italy. <laughs> the reason I say that is Italy controls a chunk of that. France is looking very interesting these days, but our primary concern is our own kingdom. We just won a war against the Byzantine Empire. So we're going to send home all the troops we can, basically starting with people who are in our own territory. The reason I want to do that is... That should lower our costs? Holy shit. What happened to the Byzantine Empire? Make it on? It's still the Byzantine Empire. If I scroll up more, will it be called that? What the hell just happened to your kingdom? I don't even understand. You changed names and somehow this joined you. I am beyond confused. Uh, we'll send these guys home too. Alright, there's something I've been wanting to do for a while that might be very good or very bad. Uh, time will tell. You can see right here our vassal limit. Our vassal limit is 43. We currently have 54 vassals. We're way over the limit. Um, for each guy, you're over the limit. I don't remember what it is. It's like a negative 5% penalty, I think, on taxes you get and levies. Something like that. So, the only way we're going to be able to get that limit down is if we start forming kingdoms and making them vassals. Which is dangerous, because they'd be more po they'll be more powerful. The plus side is they might fight wars to expand the kingdom without us having to do anything. So, the one we were looking at a while ago was here and um, Lithuania. Hmm, what is the best way to do that? Who are you? This is Zabajubajub. That's exactly how you pronounce it. Alright, so that's a small duchy in Lithuania. And then this is the duchy of Lithuania in Lithuania. I might as well show you the de jure kingdom. Um, all the glowing area is the natural kingdom. So this is already a duchy. This is a duchy. I don't know. Maybe I should make this a duchy. This is one, isn't it? Yeah, there's a high chief in charge of that. Well, maybe I won't worry about that. Maybe I'll let the guy in charge make that. Ooh. The only reason I'd want to make this its own duchy is so the kingdom would be divided in and of itself. How much does it cost to make one? Uh, that would cost 100 gold. I don't want to spend that. So who are we going to make the king of Lithuania? Who will be our vassal? Not High Chief Gottfried the Bold, because he's been in trouble. High Chief Sets loves him, maybe? He is family, and he does love us, and he's 30. Um, Yeah, I think he looks like the best choice. So what we're going to do is create the kingdom of Lithuania. It'll cost us 200 gold and 200 piety. Here's our piety. We have tons of piety. Um, here's our gold. We have a bunch of gold from the war that just ended. I want to spend it now because we're going to go... I don't know if into debt, but we'll start spending this money really fast as we have to rebuild some of the military after that war with the Byzantine Empire, which apparently hurt them so bad they had to change their name to save face. They're like, we're not the Byzantine Empire anymore. We're make, make, make it on. Yeah, that. All right, so let us create the Kingdom of Lithuania. It'll give us more prestige. Not that we need that. And Bernie the Holy has created the title Kingdom of Lithuania. He's like, check me out, honey. <sighs> oh, I'm going to go to my concubines. All right, so we have the title Kingdom of Lithuania. Where is it? If we look at its laws, I think it's just like ours. Yeah, agnatic, cognatic... Ultimate Genitor. I want to change it to Prima Genitor, but whatever, that doesn't matter. So we are going to award it to this guy. He probably doesn't like us a little bit because he wants the crown. Yeah, he wants the Kingdom of Lithuania, so we give it to him. Now, everybody under him will, um, if they have problems, they'll fight him. The only downside is if he gets mad at me, he'll have more power. So we will grant him the title Kingdom of Lithuania and hope I don't live to regret it. Look at him. He's a king, and he is our vassal. And he super loves us. And you can see we dropped down from 54 to 49. So we took like five off the limit there. 
knocking it down by creating a kingdom. Now, this guy might on his own, he might attack these areas. They're part of Lithuania, uh, the de jure territory. They might attack the Holy Roman Empire. That's less likely because the Holy Roman Empire is huge. But he might go attack his neighbors, making our kingdom stronger in the process. That's at least the hope. Um, we can probably send the Holy Warriors home. Don't need to pay for that shit. They were really awesome, though. It was good to have them. I wish I could use that money to buy another city, but we really need it to rebuild the military. What's up, King? He is hostile towards somebody over there. All right. Whatever, man. Oh, apparently France changed their name, too. They're of Mercia now. Okay. I see England, France. I see your wife's underpants. Oh, she's got a hairy cooch. Ew. King Oswald in France, you're a bore. You're not very exciting either. <laughs> All right. Let's uh, send home these troops that we can. In fact, we're going to send home everybody. Send home the vassals troops. Oops, wrong button. Man, we have a lot of troops we can call on. And then our retinue, as you can see, is still kind of damaged. We're missing maybe 1,500 to 2,000? And dude, holy man, when are you going to get Severin to join us? Oh, speaking of which, we won a war? Did that help our moral authority? No. Oh, I forgot. One of the holy sites rebelled against us. Well, they were taken over by a landless adventurer. So that's why it's down to 85.9, which is still pretty solid, though. <laughs> Sorry, that was a weird noise. Uh, eventually, I do want to see if we can usurp the title of Bulgaria. That sucks that Turnu joined with um, the f country formerly known as the Byzantine Empire. Because we were going to attack them otherwise. Uh, let's take a look at the intrigue. In fact, I'm going to... Well, we were paused. Is there anybody worth ransoming? Where are you from? Oh, you're from that place. Yeah, can we ransom you? 145 gold? They're like, yeah, we want our duke back. Or do, or whatever that is. Why don't you do take him back? We could definitely use that money. And uh, we have a bunch of other people nobody wants. And we have some rubble we can do. The Great Holy War for Kiva. High Priest Yilig had, his, had a vision from Tengri. The Goose God has talked to him. Ordering him to declare a great holy war on the Shah Morteza of Nardid Shaddam and the calling followers of the Mad Arab, all free Tengri men are invited to feast in their holy places. Tengri is mighty. The first crusade. Well, for Tengri. My upper, I'm pleased to report the majority of the population of Box has converted to the Tengri faith. That's great. Do we just inherit this? No, they just have a similar color because they want to be like us. Man, our vassal armies are not at 100%. So let's see. Who is the war against? It is for Kiva? It's against this guy? Where are you, bro? It's the Tangri Church. Am I looking at this right? I don't think I understand how holy wars work. Oops. I'm typing the wrong thing in the wrong place. No, no, wait, that, that was the right thing. I thought I was looking for a city. Oh, I could have just clicked on him here. I'm having an off day. <laughs> I just woke up a little bit ago. Where the hell's this church? It's right here? No. I am so confused right now. How do I not understand this? It probably says that I didn't read it right. We'll just look for Kiva then. Oh, is it the kingdom here? 
All right, that's a horse of a different color. We are looking at the, um... Oh, wait, that's why it says Make It On. I must have clicked it onto the family name? That's why it says of Mercia. So they're still probably the Byzantine Empire. I just got confused. They're like, no, we gave you a map with the names of who rules people. They changed their name, everybody! Oh, Emperor Bernie, you're not so bright. So the, um, Muslims here? He's got about 12,000 troops. Are any of these areas good? Oh, man. What if the Abbasids or someone else declares a holy war against us, though? That's what it says. Who is your liege? No, wait! What? Oh, I'm looking at the wrong thing. He's the guy who called it. <laughs> he's in my territory and he serves under me. He walks in and he's like, because he's the holy, he's the head of the Tengri religion. He's like the top holy man. And he's like, I'm declaring a war against the heathens. This guy. And Bernie's like, I'm going to find you and destroy you. And he's like, no, I just declared the holy war for, for a Tengri. I'm going to destroy you, pagan. No, I'm the head of the Tengri religion. Pagan, you're going down! Alright, so it's this guy. <laughs> um, before we get involved in that, who else is Muslim around here? Uh, is that the religious view? Oh man, there are a lot of Sunnis down there. That, then again, if we took that, we could expand, expand the Tengri religion. It's interesting how there are Catholic um, outposts that still hold strong. I think we might go for it. We might lose a lot, but I think this is the kind of thing that would fall in the line of the Dictopolis family, especially Emperor Bernie. He says he's Emperor Bernie the Holy. And that don't mean he's got holes in his shorts, son. Maybe he does. I don't know. Alright, raise up, raise up. Oh, man. We gotta get all the way over here. Is that everybody in the east? All right. Let's get you all in there too. Oh shit, I fucked that up. Can I join the war first? Yep, we're gonna join the great holy war. Maybe I should have moved the troops first. All right, we're going to bring the armies from the north as well. Everybody's going. So hopefully I selected everybody. Um, are we not in the war yet? Do I have to send everybody home and call them back up? No. There's my vassal priest. My liege, please be with you. I'm gladly accept your offer of assistance in my war. Let our enemies tremble. And we can call in our allies. The Khan, he's not going to care. He's Christian. Yeah, he's not going to... He's not going to help us with that. We're going to lose all that money we have. We do have other allies that are popping up, though. Who are you? The army of Shaman Sonomar of Turkestan. Oh, our vassals are sending troops. Excellent. Oh, um, apparently we paid the... Uh, they paid the ransom for that guy? Oh, look at all these Tangry guys. I didn't realize there were so many Tangry dudes. Oh, wait, those are my vassals. My vassals are raising up armies to go, too. That is awesome. Uh, those are the blue armies. The green armies are ours. Finally, nice to see our vassals getting off their asses and doing something. Hopefully, though, the um, other Sunnis... Oh, who the hell is this? Don't be the... Oh, you, you know one important. Khan! Khan Tulan. Khan Kor. Khan Kor Jet! <laughs> I'm only really worried about the Abbasids joining. If these guys join, it could be a hell of a war. Man, he's way over his vassal limit, too. Interesting. He has 77,000 troops he can call up. Alright. That, yeah.
We can probably speed it up a little bit. I want to be careful about that. We do have landless, or yeah, landless adventures showing up in December of next year. Not a lot we can do about it because the relatives we can't assassinate them without getting that Kinslayer giant penalty, which is a little crazy in this situation, I think. But you know how I feel about landless adventures in general. I would think the kingdom would understand if, like, I had to kill our cousin because he was trying to overthrow everything and he was a traitor. I think people would get that, but whatever. It is going to take forever for us to get our army here. So right now, now nobody has any war score on our side. He should have 12,000 troops at his disposal. Almost 14. Come on, we gotta get a bit of an army here. Otherwise our vassal troops are gonna go take down all the land for themselves. Wow, the Lords of the Sky ended up with some territory right by us. When did that happen? They are gradually expanding. That's pretty cool. The Tangri Holy Order. As merge, you bastards. In fact, we're going to put the best leaders in charge of this army. Because these are the guys who will probably be the first ones from our personal stash. Uh, that goes into the enemy territory. It looks like our allies will probably beat us to that. But that's alright, because maybe the Khan will fight them. Oh, something about our Luke. Our son Luke. My son Luke is a tender and loving soul, trusting everyone in the castle. I fear he'll get hurt someday. Um, I think Bernie would be like, I'm glad he's kind. Because Bernie's kind too. He'd be like, yeah, those who love get love in return. Nothing wrong with having a nice kid. That's something you brag about. We could have done that too, is brag about it, but... We didn't. Tangry the Goose God forbid such things. Man, look at all these armies, all these holy warriors marching east to take this land from the heathens and return it to the proper Tangry people who... I don't know if they ever owned it, but whatever. That's a brave or foolish army. Oh, man, I got scared. Emperor Bernie the Holy has inherited the county of Galaz from Prince Iokim of Carpathia. Well, that's really nice, but why don't we give that to somebody? Because that has us over our own personal limit. We will give it to somebody who shares our religion, our culture, because Bulgarian. That's what we were like. Hey, lady, you like this Bulgaria? <laughs> Bulgarian is best. That's why. Oops, I wrote my dick. And then, look what happens when I write my dick. All the ladies show up. And Gerald, let ignore him. He's like, oh, yeah, I want some of that. Get out of here. Actually, we could, um... No, I want somebody whose dad's not going to give him anything. There we go. Like, this kid's not going to inherit anything. So we're going to help you out, son. We always help out our own in the Dick Topless clan. You can have Glaz. And this kid is like, sweet! I can make everybody kiss in the county. Yes, you can. So many messages we just dismissed. They're like, Emperor. Yeah, whatever. I'm mostly looking here to see if anybody else joined that's big. Just some dukes. Not terribly worried about them. I am kind of amazed. He is not, he's got almost a 15,000 man army right now. A little over 14,000 to be accurate. That he's not run these guys out. Does he own all of this too, Narded? I don't think so. He just shot him. Oh, I guess he does. Uh, maybe he's going to go fight up that way? Hell if I know. That's not our problem. Uh, you can see more of our allies getting ready to move into their territory. Once we get these armies up here... So, oops, I forgot I paused it. If we get, I think, all these guys up, we will start moving into their territory. 
I just don't want to get caught with too small of an army and get hit. We can imprison this guy. I don't know why. Because he revoked a county? Whatever. Speaking of which, how's the king of Lithuania like us? He should love us, but I want to make sure. That's something we're going to have to keep our eye on from time to time as other people inherit that. Well, everybody, that's going to be the end of this episode. Oh, there we go. They're starting to raise their army there. That's why our army is a little further back as it forms up. Because we don't want to get caught unaware. Next time we go into the middle of, hopefully, Kiva for the great Tengri Holy War to take that land from the Sunni and give it to the people who deserve it, the Goose people. Take it easy, everybody.